All right, welcome back to Sable, everybody. We're going to talk to some people. Guard Elizabeth. Well, look who's here. My favorite fellow glider. Funny laugh. I was just thinking about you. Oh, you're the one from the Bridge of the Betrayed. I was thinking about you, too. Were you? Well, it sounds like destiny to me. Or at least a bit of good fortune, which frankly is good enough. Uh, she chuckles, puts her hands on her hips. I ask her why she was thinking of me. Because I was considering all the things I never got to see on my first gliding. I was such a hurry to get back to Ekra and become a guard that my gliding was more of a piercing. A straight shot to the big city. Before I knew it, I was years along my path and I'd never seen Haoka. Hakoa. Never swam under un underground lakes. Never figured out what's inside of the Numor plant. Would you like to? I asked if she'd like to get to the bottom of what's inside the Numor plants. You know, I would. I'm sure I must have passed a few of them when I came through the petrified forest. But it was daylight then. The sun makes them close right up. Of course, I may have seen too much of a rush outside. Anyway, I don't think I'll be making my way through there any time soon, sadly. So if you happen to stumble upon one, maybe you could crack it open and see what you find. Something's got to be making it glow, right? Something drives her about her drives me to action. I promise her too quickly to show her. I feel compelled to impress her just a little. Well, you don't need to do that. Well, what am I saying? I'm retired. I'm glad and I want what I want. Open up a no more plant and bring me whatever's inside. Here's hoping it isn't some awful poison slime. Yeah. I also hope that. Yeah, that might be a bit of a letdown. With my marching orders, I say goodbye. Awesome. For Athana. Make progress. Is there anything else anybody wants to talk to me about here? Howdy. This is Ofu, the innkeeper of the camp. What can I do for you? Glider, I got a little job you can do for me. What's the job? Need some orange ring beetles, three of them, and I figure there's none better to ask than a glider. That's true. Really, that's the only part I miss about my gliding. It That's a live beetle, isn't it? I noticed it moved. Uh, you get to help so many people and learn so many things. The rest of it's just sand in your beds. Gliding. <laughs> just sand in your beds. Asgar might find the beetles. Nest northeast of here that should have if you've ever collected orange ringed beetles before. I see that's their skittish. Second you approach the bird to get away. You want to lure them over to somewhere undiggable. Nice. Yep. What's this then? Here to peruse my wares. Let's trade. Nomadic bike front. Nomadic bike engine. I don't have enough money for that. I can get it from watch traders. Awesome. I have to come back to that. I can get a whole outfit. Alright, what do you got to say? Glider, yes, good to see you. Meet you? We've never met, I don't think. So yes, good to meet you. I'm Callan. Callan rocks back and forth, ball to heel. There's a speedy twitchiness to them, and the words emerge like a too swift rush of wind, picking up little stones and twigs as it washes over the dunes. How's your um, uh, life going? Uh, things are very exciting. Exciting. Good. It's apparent that Kalan barely registered my response. I'd like you to do something if you're free. Well, if you're not. Whatever. I'd like you to do something for me, and it's a little bit of fun, I promise. I'll earn you a Machinus badge. Quick to point. See? I know how you gliders like that speed and things. Like, anyhow. What do you want me to do? I want you to receive the Machinus badge, and if I, I want you to receive the Machinus badge, and for that, I'd like you to well, report on something for me. Think of it like a mission. You need to use your head for this one. I want you to go to the watch and take a reading of the sun. You find the equipment a bit, well, you know, outdated, underdesigned, cumbersome, archaic, perhaps? Whatever the word, it all still works, and that's what's important. Take the reading. And if you do it right, the face door and the central chamber set open. Once you've seen what's inside, come back here and tell me about it. Good? Perfect. Yes, thank you. And thank me, too, because you, you'll have more than earned a badge. Go on. See you soon. Can't wait to hear about it. Oof. Even I feel depressed. I was the one voicing him. Now, hold on. There's another tower over there. Let's go get the rings over there. I remember seeing the rings. It'll be a short visit. Then we'll go over to the big thing. I think that's the thing that uh, Machinus wants us to look at in the first place. Just gotta find that first Stargate and we'll be in business. I was gonna say something like cooking biscuits, but that didn't seem... That doesn't seem like a phrase that actually exists. I don't know what... Oh, 
There it is, Stargate. Maybe if we're done, we'll go look for that plant. Well, then again, I don't know what the plant looks like, and it's supposed to only open at night. I may have to wait on that. Stargate, Stargate, Stargate. Old Braytac would be proud. And last one. Where that animation really takes its time, doesn't it? I wonder what it is that I'm actually activating here. Ooh, got to see through the earth. Through the not earth. This is definitely another planet. Anti earth. Pretty sure a character said it recently. I love how it throws me. Thanks, Sia. How many of these we have now? Four? We'll figure out what they do eventually. Alright, big metal thing. Ooh, sick trick. Oh, there's a whole complex with this thing. Are there people over here? I mean, there were people over here, but not anymore. Thanks for the launch, Sia. This is a big building. See you, birds. The watch. Oh, so this is the place I was wanting me to find. Give these chalk butterfly. Oop. Oh, this is a technology area, isn't it? This looks a lot like the temple at home. Uh, only bigger and more complete. Looks like there's a lot more to it. It's got a nice orrery going on. This thing's big. Um, this direction. Is there stuff down beneath it? Oh, interesting. There's hieroglyphics. Oh, pictograms, I guess. The sun, the beetle, two fish, mask, and something. Oh, I can't wait to fiddle with the controls on this thing. This is obviously the same tech as the Hikaric ring artifacts. Oh, there's a face. There's a lot of stuff going on. Those are all symbols that are on the... Ooh! Free stuff. Azure die. There's a chum. Hello, my chummy little friend.
Okay. We gotta activate this thing somehow. And then it obviously has to do with the symbols. Flash of light shines off something behind my eye and a piece of knowledge forms in my mind. The sunstone manifests when the machinery is in place. When the sun casts shadows, provide the stone the answer it seeks. Oh, shoot. Okay. It's casting shadows. Fish. Can we come down here now? Oh, 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 oh. Do I pick up the stone? that let's let's go over hmm hold on let's go back one Seems like it's where it's supposed to be then. So now we just pop over here and hit another button, right? Hold on, I want to switch mask. Back to the classic. I should probably old equipment and the watch take a reading oh that means I can only do this during the day I'm glad the days take a long time No, that was the right spot. Okay. Now, how the hell are we getting over there? It's a flat path. Okay. Sable. Okay. We screwed up a little bit. We're fine. All right. Third time's a charm. Sun. All three are aligned. I'm just going to float my happy self down there. Do 
You think I could just make it all the way? Bam! Okay, uh, tower. Tower. Nope. Come back. E. Tower. Oh, door open. Oh, that looks cool. That looks like the same shield that forms around me. In front of me, some kind of magic pro uh, projection appears as if by magic. It's floating geometry. I see the lights that blaze in the night sky. I see where we came from. As I focus on each element of this complex visualization, I realize there is something being imparted to me. That I am reading and understanding things. Knowledge comes in new yet knowledge comes in new yet feels innate as though i am being reminded rather than taught i di decide to put my focus toward uh, a glittering ring a ringed planet the twin planets An unknown geometry? Strange, pure and strange geometry, so bizarre and yet orderly that it cannot be a gimmick. Immediately know that this is the maw, this is the impossible thing that birthed the whale. From stories, from history, and from the knowledge that steps into my brain here, this was made by living things, sentient ones with plans and intentions. But even though I know it, I cannot fathom it. Its scale is incomprehensible. The magnitude of it is such that, even in replica, I can't look at it for too long. Something in me loathes it. I don't know why. The sun. The large glowing orb in the center is our sun. It's so blinding and bright that I cannot look directly into it without feeling its heat radiate within my skull. Around it, celestial bodies move in a rhythmic dance. I decide to put my smallest planet near the sun. Emus and her two moons fit, flit about the sun like moths dancing over flame. The... Goat-headed god, patron of the Abexi. Her wisdom and resolve made for some of my very favorite stories growing up. She always seemed more accessible than the other gods. The teachers would say that Emus is who we look to when Rohana is too preoccupied for us. I pictured her on her cliff above the Ewer, ever patient, ever open. They said that through the certain mass, one could see her shadow on the sun. I decided to put my focus towards... Um, the second planet is Midden. Our sandy little... Oh, see, someone did say it earlier. Midden. Made warm and vibrant by the power and energy of the Perpetual. Looking at it in this way, I see another side to the Perpetual. I cannot help but notice that we look ensnared in a prism by it, held in its grasp. The cold wind passes but warms, but warms as I remind myself, no, we are not being possessed, we are being protected. I offer myself that comfort. The sun. Planet it near the sun. Uh, the glittering ring. Aelion. A glittering ring of golden dust. Every gentle fleck looks those is floating on a breeze gently through the sky. Are these what make up the stars? Uh, the ringed planet. Kara bent his wings. When I picture it, the ringed planet is populated entirely by beetles living in a decidedly advanced society. It would be the perfect place for Saima, I think, but I, I don't love the thought of it myself. It looks larger than the other planets. It would be a lot of beetles. Twin planets. The twin fish, coral and co Oh, those are the symbols. Okay. Coral and cobalt. They seem to be small moons cut in their currents. The way they move is mes mesmeric? Mesmerizing, and it's hard to look away. It is said that these two are the most mischievous of the gods. As I recall, the legends of them disguising themselves as children to lure kind nomads into the undercurrent of the dunes. Among the Abexi, these stories of the twins are perfect for scaring the too bold and too young out of venturing too far from home. It's a wonder we would ever get on with our gliding. Part of me wishes I had not recalled those fishes, though. <laughs> and it'll be a challenge not to look askance at the next errant child I meet. Second planet on the geometry. I think I'm done here. 
Wow. So it is an orrery. It's just the solar system. What else is here? Free stuff? Who's this, I wonder? Back in his trousers. Is this everything I needed to see in this orrery? A planet pops in and out of existence. So big triangle thing is the maw. That's what brought us to this solar system. And we got caught onto that planet. Interesting. Ooh, there's another thing over there. Let's go for that. Should be northeast that way. Is that where the worm is? That is the worm. Cool. We're going to the worm. I love how fast this thing is. Woo! Left over that sand dune. Oh, wormy, wormy. Oops, I keep forgetting. Wormy, wormy, worm. Oh, you look like you're made out of stone. You get petrified? Will you live again? Oh, there is a ship out there. Mm, so this is the worm. I don't see anything immediately interesting about you, so I'm going for the ship. Is that the backside of the temple from home? That's gotta be. No, that's something else. What the hell are you? Figure it out eventually. Or it's easily distracted. You're another big fella. There's always a way to get in. I do appreciate that. The center of Brunswick. Is there a chum up there? There's scrap. I do need scrap. <laughs> Can I climb up the side over here? No. And we gotta do it all again. Can I just jump back? Haha, <laughs> I can. Ooh. This is a big ship. Um Okay, where do we need to go? We want to go up there, right? And in order to go up there, we gotta move these into the correct position. Got it. Better. Then we can make that one move. Then I'm gonna jump all the way down here. Get a bunch of scrap metal. Be rich eventually all right we're gonna use our leverage over here hop up perfect Going exactly as planned so far. Then I'm guessing we're gonna have to move that one. It's okay, we'll get it. No! 
Gosh, you know, we're, come on. I always waste less time not being impatient. Oh, there's enough time for me to stand on top this time. Twenty pesos. Okay, now the question is Oh, yeah, that's how we'll do it. Got it. So what we need is it to continuously be moving. So what we're gonna do is take the battery out of this one. Because we don't care anymore. And we're gonna put it in this one so the big one spins. Oh, that makes it a lot easier. And we just run it up. Boom. Got it. Do we have a Saren terminal? Yes, we have a Saren terminal. I'll be with you in a minute, Saren. I'm going to look for scrap metal. Because, boy, howdy, do I need the cash. That is so loud. All right, Saren. Say hello to Saren. You have unread messages, Sable. Unread messages. Here are your unread messages. Recording five. I find myself tape, tapping my foot in anticipation to start up the workstation. At long range, communication are still being disrupted by the perpetual. Officer Ellis wishes to return her attention to the shielding, to shielding the reactors from its interference. Permission granted. Saren, I want you to stick with the comms array and see if you can't squeeze something out without being bounced back. We might as well get the terraformers up and running then, right? Deacon, if you don't shut up about the terraformers. He lets it hang in the air, but goes on before he can finish what I can only assume would be a very pointed threat. If you hadn't been running in your mouth, we'd still be in orbit negotiating a landing with this godforsaken planning, but we can't even breathe the air out there. And all the more reason to start terraforming now. What is your point, Captain? Deacon, listen to me. We can't. That landing was hell on those things. The rad shielding is beyond repair right now. If we run these things, that will pump radiation into the atmosphere for a hundred years. That's Earth years. It's not an option for us, Deacon. Maybe we don't do it for us. The recording goes silent. No unread messages. Interesting. So I wonder if... Um, The reason why everything's like left is because they um they turned on the terraformers that way other people would be able to survive not necessarily them because they're thinking about more than themselves makes you think all right i've definitely got more pluses to check out but I'm going to have to stop things here and start a new episode. So thank you all for joining me. I hope you had a good time and uh, join me next time, I hope. And I'm going to go figure out what that is. Hope you have a good day.